a commercial plane experiences a complete loss of all engine power at an altitude of 35,000 feet and an air speed of 450 knots. The ramp near turbine is immediately deployed and the pilots get ready for emergency landing. The R&D is designed to generate 20 kilovolt ampere of electrical power with power generation efficiency of 85%. Power factor is 0.8 for a typical aircraft electrical system. The aircraft essential systems require a continuous power supply of 13.5 kilowatt. The aircraft has an average glide ratio of 15 is to 1, meaning for every 15 units of horizontal distance covered, it loses one unit of altitude. For how many minutes can the RT continuously power the essential systems if the aircraft maintains a constant glide until it reaches the ground level for an emergency landing? Let us first see if RAT can indeed provide 13.5 kilowatt of power or not. So we have 20 kilowatt ampere multiplied with 0.85, again multiplied with 0.8. We get 13.6 kilowatt. So yes, RAT can generate sufficient power, which is 13.5 kilowatt. RT is almost like wind turbine and it is able to generate sufficient power, which means the plane should be able to touch down. Now we have the triangle from which we can find out the vertical speed. So V by by V is equal to 1 upon under root 1 square plus 15 square and V is already given as 450 now. So V by is calculated from this. Now time can be calculated as vertical distance divided by vertical speed. So the answer comes out to be 11.54 minutes. After the plane touches down, the backup power takes over. Now the power is no longer to be considered as supplied from RAT, but it is going to be supplied by the backup system. So after this much time is over, 11.54 minutes, then plane will touch down and will be on runway for some time. While it is on runway for some time, the power will be supplied by the backup system, not by RAT according to the question.